So far we've spent a lot of time on definitions of distance and displacement and velocity and average velocity, all these things. We haven't really talked about how to do kinematics or about the standard equations that you're familiar with or maybe that you've memorized before in kinematics. So now we're going to show you the link between the definitions and the useful equations. And, and we're only going to do it for right now constant velocity. So you do kinematics under different assumptions. Right now we're doing the kinematics assuming that whatever's moving moves at a constant velocity. And I wrote a quick problem here for us to use as we derive things. So a football player starts on the 10 yard line, runs at eight yards per second for four and a half seconds. Where does he or she end up? Which yard line? This is clearly American football. All right, so even though we're doing this and going for the equations, uh, it's still usually good to draw a graph. Why not? So let's remind ourselves what this would look like. More or less a kinematics plot, of course, has time on that axis. X, we can say, is the uh, position or progress down the field. They started at the 10 yard line. So we can start here at 10, where that's in yards and that's in seconds. And we went at a uniform speed, so it looks like that. And we know they stopped, or we, the part we care about, is up to 4.5 seconds, or this is the origin, like that. So that would be the plot. So really the question is, how far do they get? All right. So one thing we want to realize, it helps the notation, if we realize or remember that at constant um, velocity, so if we're at constant velocity, that the average equals the instantaneous. Remember average is sort of the average velocity if you consider two points in time. Instantaneous is if you consider an instant in time. But as long as it's uniform and constant, it doesn't really matter. They're equal. That helps our notation because then we can say that v, the vector for instantaneous velocity, equals the vector for average velocity, which equals the displacement over delta t. I want to use this for the velocity. I want to think about just the regular old instantaneous velocity, but I want to have this formula. But this is for average. But actually all three are equal in this case. So we can go from there. We can remind ourselves, let's see, what is v? v is just v, the velocity. What is this? This is the final position minus the initial position over delta t, like that. All right. And then we can, uh, oh, oh, I see we have a question. Let's see um, what the question is. And it is from Dank Mimes. Why is position a vector? I thought displacement was the vector. OK, now I know, I know what you mean. Uh, here it is. Yes, so we define displacement as a vector because it's from one place to another. It clearly has a direction. These are positions, but they have to be vectors because this side is a vector. Right? So really, even though we introduce displacement as the vector, position is also a vector. Position is displacement from the origin. Right? So positions are also vectors. It's just at the very beginning, we didn't describe them as vectors just to not confuse you. But positions are also vectors. Positions are just displacements from the origin. So if the origin is here and the first position is 10, there's the vector right there. That's the vector. So everything's a vector. Uh, and it is, yes, it is unusual I'm writing all this in vector notation when it's a 1D problem. But that's just, that's how I decided to do it. OK, so down here, also delta t, I should have written as time final minus time initial. So I could point out usually time initial is just 0. We're going to put something at the origin. It's usually ti, initial time is 0. And then usually tf, we just call t. We usually are going from time equals 0 to some time t. That's how we would usually write it. So if we get rid of that and just call that t and then start switching things around, we can solve for xf, the final position in this problem. It's the initial position. right? We're bringing this over here and uh, bringing that over. It's the initial position plus that constant velocity times time. And that is one of the standard equations of kinematics. That is the constant velocity kinematics. What is the position? You may know the street version of this. If you learned this in an earlier physics class, you may have just memorized d equals vt. Right? It's really the same thing. You just don't have the vector notation on it. And d means xf minus xi, sort of how far you got. And to use it, it's just a straightforward plug it in. The final position 
Um, final position is the initial position, which was 10, the 10 yard line, plus the speed, or the velocity in this case, 8 yards per second, t, 4.5. All right, so 8 times 4.5, 32 plus just 36. 36 plus 10 is 46. So it's the 46 yard line is where they ended up. And since it's a vector, I'll put i hat. We'll say i hat is the unit vector for downfield. All right. Okay, so that's your first kinematics equation that you may want to know for constant velocity only.